Alright, so today's video is going to be kind of calm. I'm not going to be shouting at all. I kind of shouted there, didn't I? Alright, so you're probably wondering right now what the fuck's going on, but I just wanted to show you something really quick before we get into the actual video. Look at this. Wait, I don't know if you can see it properly. Five Team of the Years in one foot draft. I just wanted to show that quickly. Look, it's real. Look, legit. If I move my hand down and I go like that, you can see it's real. And yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Let's just get onto the video now, because... I don't know if you even care about this, but yeah. So because like Team of the Year is finished, and now there's five, I think, FIFAs with Team of the Years, and obviously there's five selections, so using my genius mind, I've thought up of a way that I can put the old retro FIFA cards in like a selection, and I can choose, I can try and choose, well not try, I am, going to choose the best one that comes up, and make a whole team of just the best Team of the Year players there's ever been. I don't think anyone's done this before, sorry if they have. So yeah, we're just going to be entering this, we're going to see which players are the best we're going to choose out of. Obviously there's goalkeeper, left back, right back, two centre backs, uh, left back, three centre mids, a left winger, right winger and striker, which you can already guess what some of the positions the players are going to be. But yeah, we're going to see the greatest Team of the Year team we can possibly make on this foot draft. Let's just do this. If you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button because I'll be doing cool stuff like this again as well if you guys obviously want to see that. But yeah, we're just going to get into this and we're going to see what the best team their team we can make is. Holy shit, I'm, I don't think you're ready for this. Look at those five selections. There's only two players there out of the whole five team the years there's ever been, which is three Neuers and two Cassiasses. I literally... Obviously, who would be dumb to not go with the two... one of the Neuers there because they're obviously higher rated than the Cassias cards, but the 95 Cassias from FIFA 13, the fourth card on that list there, it's not even a list is it, it's a, just, a, it's just, just, yeah, just call it a selection, not a list, that 95 card from FIFA 13 has 70 speed and literally has literally the best stats in my eyes I think, so I think I might have to go with the 95 Cassias, and especially during that time as well, because Cassias was actually really good during that time. Moving on to the right back now, so we have a different variety of options here, obviously I was running out of right back so I had to put two Danny Alves cards there, one from FIFA 12, a one from FIFA 14, and there's that right back from FIFA 12 for Ramos, which actually looks pretty good, but I don't really want Ramos to be right back, so I think I'm going to save him to be centre back, which I think everyone will do anyway, because obviously Ramos plays better at centre back now anyway. So, I think the best card there, holy shit I just realised, Danny Alves FIFA 12 card has 98 pace. Damn! I think I'm going to have to go with that FIFA 12 card, Danny Alves, because call me a pace whore all you want, that card is actually utterly ridiculous. Right, so moving on now to the centre-back. Again, I don't know why I'm saying they're sick, because obviously all Team Near cards are going to be sick. We have Silva from FIFA 14, Luis from FIFA 15, PK from FIFA 12, Silva from this year, FIFA 16, and to finish off, we have Ramos from FIFA 13. So, we have two silver cards there, which... I actually want to choose because I think there's a better Ramos card from this year, FIFA 16, which I think will come up in the next centre back option. So, it has to be one of the silvers here because PK, I don't think he's that great. Louise obviously isn't the best, so I think it's either going to be the 92 silver or the 94 FIFA 16 one. Based on the actual stats, yes, he has more pace from FIFA th uh, 14, but I think the best card there. Is the FIFA 16 one, in my opinion. Okay, I've already said I'm going to choose Ramos in the next one, which, bear in mind, there's a silver from FIFA 15, PK from FIFA 13, Luis from FIFA 15 again, and Vidic from FIFA 12. I think here, I'm going to have to go with the Ramos again, which I've already said before, but I think he just is the best card there. The only left backs that are in Team of the Year of all time are those FIFA 16 Marcelo and FIFA 13 Marcelo. So, yeah, if you look back, you'll realise I'm right. So I think I'm going to have to go with the FIFA 16 one again. FIFA 16 is literally taking over here, but I have to choose that card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets tasty. We have the first centre mid now. These cards, just have a look. They are utter ridiculous. We have the FIFA 16 Modric, the FIFA 16 Pogba, the FIFA 15 Cruz, the FIFA 12 Alonso, and the FIFA 13 Iniesta. I literally have no idea who I'll choose here, but I have to choose that Iniesta card. I'm sorry, Iniesta is a player you have to have in the best team of the year team, because Iniesta, who doesn't want Iniesta? If you don't, if you don't choose this card that I'm going to say as well, I don't know what you're playing at, because this card is just stupidly sick. We're going to start off from the right-hand side this time. We have 94 Di Maria from FIFA 15, 93 Alonso from FIFA 14, no, 13. We have the Iniesta from FIFA 16, Iniesta from FIFA 14, and the card that pretty much 
all of you should choose is Chavi from FIFA 12. 97 rated. 99 passing. How that, that 99 passing should just be in, just look at that stat and you should choose him over anyone else. Yes, Iniesta has 97 passing, but I've already chosen Iniesta for the other positions. So Chavi is better than Alonso and Di Maria, 100 percent So I'm gonna have to go with Chavi there from FIFA 12. Final position for CM now we have to choose. This is the final centre mid. We're gonna have to choose. And by the way, I forgot to mention, I think, somewhere in the video, I haven't mentioned it yet, that chemistry, it doesn't matter about chemistry in this because it doesn't really matter, does it, for Team of the Year? They're all not going to have 100 chemistry. Even the EA team, the EA make, doesn't have 100 chemistry. So just ignore chemistry and just choose the best players here. I think I might have made a mistake because the FIFA 12 Iniesta there looks quite good. But you also have a Chavi, which obviously we can't choose. So it's either going to be Di Maria from FIFA 15, Cruz from FIFA 15, or Alonso from FIFA 13. So here, I'm going to have to choose... It's going to have to be Alonso. Alonso... He's actually pretty good as well. So with a bang, we have the 99 Ronaldo. 99 shooting, 99 dribbling, 98 pace. Oh god, I'm going to have to read out the, all these stats from every single one of these players on here. We have the 96 ribbon from FIFA 14. With 96 pace, 98 dribbling, 91 passing. And then we move on to the FIFA 14 Ronaldo, which is worse than the 99 one, obviously. With 98 pace, 97 shooting, 98 dribbling, 92 physical. Oh, wow, I'm actually getting tired reading out these stats. The only possible player we're going to choose from this is the 99 Ronaldo, obviously. You'll be just thick or dumb or retarded in the head to not think to choose that 99 Ronaldo. But to be honest, the 98 one actually... Actually, to be honest, the rest of them aren't actually that bad. If you prefer, if you prefer Neymar or Ronaldo, that's fair enough. But I'm going to choose the 99 Ronaldo just because he's 99 rated. So we have 98 Messi, the CF. I know it's CF, but whatever, he's gonna be right wing because I don't want Messi to play up front because there's another player who I want up front, obviously. So we have the 98 Messi with 99 dribbling, the 96 Robin on FIFA 15 with 98 dribbling and 95 shooting and 98 pace. God's sake, that's a 96 card only. That should be like 99. But yeah, we have 98 Messi with 99 dribbling again. We have another 98 Messi with 99 dribbling again, and we also have a, a 99 Messi that's basically the same as Ronaldo with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 98 shooting, and 97 passing. I have to choose another 99 rated card, it has to be for the FIFA 16 one. To complete the team, we have obviously Messi again, we have two Messi cards there which I had to fill in because I was running out of strikers, but forget about Messi here, we have the 95 Rooney with 99 shooting from FIFA 12, with the 96 Ibra from FIFA 14, which has 98 shooting, 94 dribbling, and but the pace kind of lets him down, but it's all right because it's Ibra. And we also have Falcao from FIFA 14, no, 13, sorry, and he has 90 shooting and 96 physical. I'm going to have a tough time choosing this. You're going to go mental at me in the comments if I don't choose the right player here. But I think, in my eyes, obviously for Falcao, it would be better for chemistry-wise, but as I said before, chemistry doesn't really matter for this. So... I think I want Rooney, so I think I'm going to have to choose Ibra for this, just because I actually like Ibra, and that Ibra card I remember was actually pretty good on FIFA 14, if you remember. I think, apparently, everyone was saying he was actually one of the best cards ever to be on any FIFA, so I have to choose that Ibra card. Oh, wow, this team is actually stupid. There is the full team. Imagine seeing this on your FIFA screen and witnessing it and actually playing a game with it. So let me know in the comments what you do to get all those players in one team, because... I don't know what I'd do. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments and leave a like because it does help me out if you leave a like and let me know. It indicates you do actually want to see more stuff like this. So yeah, leave a like if you want to see more like this. Subscribe if you are new around here. And I'll catch you guys next time. Yo guys, so today I've got for you something quite different. Well, I say it's different. It's kind of just the same thing as I usually do, which is foot draft. 